series today's dad these days raising well-rounded kids takes a lot of time patience and a whole lot of love and one famous dad will tell you it also helps if you know how to take a punch if we are going to be engaged fathers then we must meet the challenge head on whatever george foreman does he does big from boxing his way to heavyweight champion of the world to raising a family of 10 his latest venture is on a much smaller scale, a book about fatherhood, just in time for Father's Day. Being a good father is a lifetime thing. To know our kids, to train them, to have a positive, lasting relationship with them, we just have to take some time. After stepping out of the boxing ring nearly 10 years ago, Foreman says he now has more time to be a dad. His career speaks for itself becoming one of the greatest boxing champions in the world with victories against Joe Frazier and going on to face the legendary Muhammad Ali. With a career record 68 knockouts, Foreman retired from the ring to become an ordained minister and went on to make millions selling the popular George Foreman Grill. This is my George Foreman family-sized grill. <laughs> Yet Foreman says the title he is most proud of is that of dad. For Foreman, who grew up without a father, was determined to do two things with his life. Become a champion boxer and be the father he never had. Now look, I'm going to teach you guys how to play. I know it's going to be hard. Huh? Did you remember? Foreman lives in his hometown, Marshall, Texas, with his family, including five sons, all named George. I'm George Jr. I'm George Foreman III. I'm George Foreman IV. You get the picture. And then there are his five daughters, wife Mary, and a growing number of grandchildren. That was good. That was good. Foreman admits that being a good father is a tough challenge. Being a loving, fully present father takes courage. You have to stand strong and secure in the face of opposition. A challenge his kids feel he's met. No one knows how he works so hard and, and puts an example out for us. Do as I say, do as I do. It doesn't exist with him. It's do as I do. You stay at school? Long after the boxing gloves are off, Foreman is quick to point out that what matters most is family. It's harder to be a parent. Raising family, children, it's hard. You gotta connect with love at all times. If love dies, nothing else is important. But if love is there, you've gotten something. As we mentioned, George has written a book about parenthood called Fatherhood by George. Tom Sturgis is the father of two sons and the author of Parking Lot Rules and 75 Other Ideas for Raising Amazing Children. And Rollin Warren is the president of the National Fatherhood Initiative. He's got two sons as well. Guys, happy Father's Day in advance. Good to have you all here. Thank you. You say time. Time is one of the keys. Everybody's so busy, not only fathers, but mothers as well. How do you make time work for you then? Well, most of the time, most people think they're busy. We're not that busy. We've got more time than you could ever imagine for our children and our families. Without that, we're not gonna be a success. But isn't it also, you spend time but make it quality time. Don't, don't just waste the time you have with your children. That's what it is, quality time. Yeah, I, I think one of the things that's really important is, you know, kids spell love. T-I-M-E. And they're, they're wired, I think, from birth to know that the time that you spend with them is the moments that you can't recapture. So it's critically important. I think you're right on point. There's one of the most important things that dads have to do in order to be the best dad they can be. You know, it's funny. I spend a lot of time with my kids, and yet when, they, when I talk to them, they always say, but you always travel. They, it yeah. seems like they don't stop to remember the times you're there, right. but they do remember the times you aren't there. You three have something interesting in common that you all three grew up in a household where your father was not present right how do you think that's impacted the father you've become for me uh, I let that become my inspiration the fact that when I held my son the first time and looked him in the eye and realized I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing to raise him I used that as a point of inspiration I listened to everybody around me I would see people doing things that were great with their children and I would go okay I'm gonna keep I'm gonna write that one down that's a good one and if at the same time if I saw something that didn't work I would make sure I never did it again but does it mean that you all go on as parents trying to make up for what you didn't have I mean are you always trying to have to make for your kids what they what you didn't have well that's an interesting question I you know I say kids have a hole in the soul in the shape of their dads and if a dad is unable unwilling to fill that hole it leaves a void it leaves a wound and I know for me that's one of the reasons I left Goldman Sachs for the Sachs for the lucrative world of nonprofit management <laughs> yeah. because of that hole in my soul and and the fact that I really had to resolve that and I wanted to help other dads do the same thing so it's a really important issue out there and I think it drives you you were motivated by pain and pleasure and I think in this case uh, certainly there's certainly the pleasure of being a good dad but also the pain of not having one in your life that kind of drives a lot of what, what I do around this work
George, I'm just curious, with so many women in the workplace, roles, it seems, are kind of crisscrossing all the time in the home. How do you see, what's the major difference you see in the role of a father versus the role of a mother? Well, nothing will ever change. You still need a father and you must have a mom. But dad is going to have to show some sensitive areas these days a lot more than it used to because mom's out working all the time and you just can't come home. I want this way. I want you got to come home and be <laughs> mom's going to call him and say, I want it this way. Now, dad's got to sit there and say, OK, baby, I'm a darling. I love you. I think you also have to be uh, aware of how big a presence you are in your children's life. I think that's the, the, the thing. We're bigger. We're stronger. Our voices are deeper. One of my ideas is whenever you get upset with your children, you whisper. And you never, uh, you, they never hear an angry sound from your voice. I was, uh, I was playing golf with my son Sam uh, a couple weeks ago, and I mentioned to him as we left the golf course, I thought he had been a little rude to one of the uh, other golfers, and I, you know, I've been whispering it in my whole life. I leaned in, I said, Sam, I thought you were a little rude to that guy. He looks at me, he says, well, what are you getting so upset about? Yeah, right. <laughs> in his mind, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah. You say something, George, and I, and I like this a lot. You say one of the most important things you can do for your children is to romance and honor your wife. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. If you really want to, especially with boys, yeah. you got to understand they love their moms. They love them a lot. Yeah. You romance and treat those wonderful wives great. Those boys will love you and think you're the most wonderful person alive. Yeah. And I, they'll do what you ask. Oh, absolutely. And I think that's critically important for you to model that. And, and particularly for me, having grown up without my father and having two sons, uh, I didn't really see that kind of relationship happening with my mom. And I thought, if I'm going to break this legacy and create a new one for my boys, it was critically important uh, for me to do that. And certainly mom is a key part of that. The uh, template for the boys' relationship, the, it, with all the boys' relationship going through his life, is, is watching his father. Yep, you've so got to set a good example you gotta, in that You've got to give him the leadership. As I said before, to start the segment, happy Father's Day, guys. Thank Thanks you. Thanks to have you all here. Great. We're back.